Lord Marcelin, Comte de Travers and his wife Lady Elodie, patroness of the artist Chantal Valroyau, and Sir Bastien Vauclin, Chevalier of the Empire and Paramour of the Comte. remember the day they came to tell me that my second husband, Philippe, was thrown from his horse. Ambassador to the Imperial Court. <laughs> Lady Solange Lévesque, Marquise of Montvert, Ambassador to the Court of Navarra. Accompanying the ambassador, her daughter, Lady Madeline, renowned poet and author. Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. <laughs> Marquis, it's been far too long. How's your family in Valchavin? No complaints, my dear, no complaints. You must come to the chateau to see the girls. They will be overjoyed. Oh, I've missed them very much. Little Sylvie must be ten now, no? Eleven, and already up to my elbow. Oh, how they grow. Perhaps I shall call on you soon. Excellent. Now I must dance with the Dowager. It was lovely to see you, my dear. Look at Lady Cambian's slippers, trimmed with pearls, and emeralds, and those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles, on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps? This is Halam Sheral, Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the Great Game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance, and like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Ole. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Shiral is lousy with scandals and scheming. But no sign of our Tevinta infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. 
Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. Perhaps you could tell me something then. We haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. My Lord Inquisitor, allow me to present Lady Couteau. And Lady Colomb. And of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies in waiting. I'd like to know more about Empress Celine. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved, not just in Orlé, but across Nidas. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks her tea black. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. It seems strange to hold peace talks during a ball. The nobility must do things very differently in Austria. By Orlesian tradition, moments of great solemnity are celebrated with revels and feasts. While joyous occasions are given time for reflection and contemplation. We must never forget that life is both bitter and sweet. The ball is an opportunity to celebrate life and hope for the future, while we mourn those killed in the war. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspard is a decorated general, much beloved by the Imperial Army, and a legend among chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He's also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the elves for the better. Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages. She is an idealist, but her lack of patience would prove disastrous. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briella are driven by personal ambitions. But those desires threaten the safety of all Orlesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Orlesian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfels, and she throws the best parties. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. Inquisitor Trevelyan. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I had a question about you, Briala. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. And so that matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. What's your story? How was an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Selene and I have history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. What do you mean we had a falling out? She betrayed me. Turned me over to the guards on a trumped-up charge to save her political reputation. It wasn't personal. It's the game. That's how all Orlesians justify these things to themselves. It wouldn't do to let the court know she had an elven... friend. If she doesn't win you back to her side, what do you intend to do? I have contingency plans. I'm not a child putting all my hopes on a single ball. This evening gives me access to Duke Gaspard. He's challenging. Not as progressive or persuadable as his cousin. But with time and sufficient blackmail. He might work with us. You just told me you have reason to betray the Empress. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Celine than I. But if she died after inviting me here, the court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? 
alienages across Orlais, across all Thedas, would be purged. That cannot happen. I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you, so there's no point in pretending. Yes, Celine and I were lovers once, but we've gone our separate ways now. I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Celine and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navarran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change. However sorely it may be needed. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Duke Gaspard has made a fortunate alliance. He's fortunate. I wonder if the Lord Inquisitor feels the same. I would love to hear about your time in Cap. Another time. I swore of marriage forever. Lord Inquisitor. I'd like your opinion of this gathering, my lady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Celine knows that. Hmm. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A oh, shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? Good evening, my lady. Several times this evening, actually. Did you see Gaspard dance? He and Celine aren't getting anywhere, it's obvious. My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the court, I see. I'd like to know more about you. All of Ole knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to be more leisure. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Ole. But my cousin, Celine, is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. What's your claim to the throne? The Hundred Days Cough swept Val Royer in 877. It killed thousands of children. Royalty and commoner alike. There are only three living grandchildren of Emperor Judicale the First. Myself, my sister Florian, and Celine. And I am the eldest. By rights, the crown should have passed to me. If you're the rightful heir, how did Celine become Empress? I am the oldest, but I lack the Valmont name. 
My mother was the late Emperor's sister. Celine is a Vamon. Her honored father was my mother's brother. But she is the youngest. When there is any doubt surrounding the line of succession, the matter falls to the Council of Heralds. Celine outplayed me, forming alliances on the Council for support. So they passed over me in her favor. What are you claiming? Her crown or her head? If Celine loses her head, it will not be my doing. I want my empire. I do not wish harm on my cousin, but I would not weep at her demise. I have a question about the peace talks. What are you hoping to achieve at the negotiations? I intend to take back what is rightfully mine. Celine stole the crown through politicking. But I am the rightful emperor of Orléans. The empire has been mired in intrigue for too long. We need a clear course of action. What action did you have in mind? The empire is declining. We cannot allow Nevara and Ferelden to chip away our borders. I will see Orle return to glory as the strongest nation in Thedas. You intend to return to expansionism? I like to solve problems in the simplest manner, my friend. What will be going on in these negotiations? We will whittle one another down with words until we are bored into agreement. Celine will talk circles around us, that elf will glower and cast suspicion everywhere, and I will get very drunk. Somehow, by the time they stop serving drinks, our war will be ended. Politics, my friend. What calamities befall us if they stop serving drinks early? If we're lucky, another war will break out. <laughs> I cannot abide the game, my friend. I prefer my enemies armed and facing me. I like clear winners and losers. Give me a battlefield, Inquisitor. I will show you who the victors are. When I am Emperor, there will be changes. No more of this courtier's nonsense. The nobles may not like it, but after a few lose their heads, they'll fall in line. You didn't extend this invitation out of the goodness of your heart, Grand Duke. As you might have guessed, I'm not the most political man. If the nobles believe the Inquisition supports me, it will help in negotiations. And uh, I take joy in watching the scandalized expressions when they see us together. What can you tell me about Celine and Briala? Briala may be called Ambassador, but she is purely a spy. She works towards some hidden agenda. Elves have no place in politics. Her presence here is suspicious. Celine is a skilled player in the game. She knows how to get her way with a few words and a smile. But the game is a farce. I will prove that a few hundred chevaliers are better than diplomats. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. Doesn't look like negotiations are going well. I have an idea, Josephine. You should invite all the family to Skyhold for the summer. You'd be bored the second you stepped past the gates. Skyhold is a fortified castle, not a holiday resort. Don't you miss us? Of course I do, Yvette. There's just so much work undone. You always put these tasks ahead of us. Well, I'll see if I can come home for your gallery showing. How does that sound? Oh, that would be so nice. Do you promise? Yes, I promise. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Just 
doesn't look like negotiations are going well. We can only hope Celine prevails tonight. Gaspar will ruin us all. worth checking out. Caught in the middle of this crap. What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere. Got to be something here. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This guy's way too fancy to belong down here. What's his story? Is that the Chalon family crest? What have you been up to, Gaspard? Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs>
<laughs> the Empress can't give up her pretty things. meeting you here. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? No doubt there's a line of people breathlessly waiting for dances with me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So... The Council of Errol's Emissary in the Courtyard. That's not your work, is it? Gaspard killed him, I think. The knife has a Chalon crest on the hilt. I knew it. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers. But killing a Council Emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspard must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easy-going for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? There is so much conniving and backstabbing here. Makes me homesick.
We're in your debt, Inquisitor. We'll hold the area. Thank you, Inquisitor. Thank you, Inquisitor.